Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I reach Sayuri's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Gently open the door. Whoa! Hey! Oh. oh no. What? Oh no, I knew something bad was gonna happen. What the hell? What? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It, it has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can't be real. I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I was sorry I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then, wh then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. What Sayori needed, that's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. And why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Was I so selfish? It's my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time wait with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. The one I grew up with, she's gone forever now. Nothing I can do bring her, can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. Now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 End. What the heck is going on? Whoa. I'm scared presses. The annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to you. Any attention she might draw to herself. Oh boy, is this gonna be just her? That that thing? Uh, da, 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 da. My neighbor and good friends since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we just would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I must feel better off running away. If I just sign Ido in front of the crosswalk and let her catch up to me. Oh no! An ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend rooms walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as early as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 
There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Have Gooey? Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I understand where the psychological horror piece thing is, um, um, what that means now. And yeah, I figured that the I love you wasn't gonna be the correct one after I realized after I clicked it. And I was right. Oh boy. You here? Been a while, right? Ah, yeah it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We didn't know each other, well we rarely talked but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been lo looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you can check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ha <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Oh no. Much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Whoa. Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, ha ha ha. Kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. What? Did, did Sayori just off herself out of existence? It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Monica says she? Hmm. Hey, Cap Gooey. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but you could at the very least visit my club. It would make me really happy. Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome. You're really sweet, Kevgu, you know that? It's nothing, really. There we go, then. I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh, hi. I I'm back. Woo! That's just, that's always gonna get me now, guys. Like, expecting any, anything like that. Ooh, like, Expecting something like that to always happen. Oh man, that's gonna get me. And I brought a guest with me. Eh? A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Kabugui. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Well, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Uh, no I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. The small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh. It is nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. 
Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. Now where's Sayori? They ran to Kevgu in the classroom and decides to come check out the club. Don't they just... Switch? Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? You're not telling you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. Wait, Natsuki was going to bring someone? Is that what she said? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, my head is, my head is, is, uh, oh boy, oh no, okay, ooh, oh boy, ooh, uh, okay. Oh. I knew, I knew something bad was gonna happen after it chose I love you part. Oh, I knew it, oh! Okay. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh. If you guys did, then... Let me know down in the comments if you guys knew what was gonna happen. If, if that, if you knew something was that was gonna happen, ah. Oh. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.